Hey everybody, Scott Tetweiler here, back with another two minute Capture One video. And today we're gonna to talk about the Normalize tool. Just like all the tools inside of Capture One, you can get to it by adding the tool to any panel you'd like. The Normalize tool works very simply and has been in Capture One for a few versions now. It was actually in Capture One before version 11, but it was the skin white balance tool and it's since grown up. The idea behind the Normalize tool is pretty simple. We're going to pick a color in one image and make something in another image that's in color. Usually used on skin, for example, sampling here from the forehead into this image here and sampling again on the forehead to put the color in, you should now have two similar colored images. You can let the Normalize tool adjust the exposure as well. That worked out pretty well. Another handy thing about the Normalize tool is if you have a skin tone you really like, you can save it as a preset so you can apply it to other images later. It also doesn't just work on skin, it will work on other images as well. When using the tool, you click here to sample from one image and here to put it into another image. You can also use the keyboard shortcut of N for Normalize, sample in one image, hold down your Alt key, and then normalize the other image. It's a very handy tool for quick applications across multiple images. If you're working with fashion, this is also a lifesaver to make sure the colors of the fabrics are the same across all the images. If you notice, I have quite a few interesting images across the bottom of my feed here. These are the ones we've been working on in my live stream. So be sure to catch that when they're on and we'll work through these together. Until next time, everybody stay safe. 